Small angle X-ray scattering, or SOCS, is an important research tool in structural biology. It allows us to investigate the three-dimensional structures and structural changes of biological molecules. For example, SOCS is used to study the formation of protein fibrils in diseases such as Alzheimer's and Parkinson's. What you see here are small protein molecules which are naturally present in healthy people and where they perform their normal functions. However, problems arise when the molecules start changing their shapes and properties. These changes cause the molecules to clot together and form aggregates, until finally insoluble protein fibrils are formed. These fibrils can become very large, and their accumulation in organs is known to cause more than 20 serious diseases, including amyloidosis and various neurodegenerative disorders. To understand these diseases, we need to know the structures and behavior of the molecules that are involved, so we can apply this knowledge in development of therapies for patients. SUCS gives us the possibility to get this knowledge, as we can investigate in real time the details of molecular processes like fibril formation. A SUCS experiment starts with loading a liquid sample into the sample loader, which may contain any type of macromolecule that we want to study. In this example, the sample contains proteins, of which shapes will be probed by a highly focused beam of X-ray radiation. The production of the X-ray radiation for the experiment is done in a synchrotron. The synchrotron is a very large underground structure that consists of a long circular tube, through which positrons and electrons are accelerated to nearly the speed of light. The particles need to be kept in the center of the tube, which is done by magnets in a highly evacuated storage ring. An important part of the tube is the undulator, where the passing of the particles results in emission of X-rays that are amplified and directed into beamlines. These resulting beamlines are then directed towards the sample. But before they hit the sample, the X-ray wavelength is selected by a monochromator and the beam focused by mirrors and shaped by slits. When the sample is hit, most radiation passes through without any interaction and is not of interest. We are only interested in the radiation that scatters off the protein molecules at a small angle, as this contains information about the shapes of the molecules. The scattered waves are recorded on the two-dimensional flat plane detector, where a scattering pattern is built and a 1D scattering curve extracted. This curve serves to reconstruct the low-resolution 3D shape of the molecule. The molecule is represented by a bead model from which a scattering curve can be calculated. Starting from a random shape, the model is then changed iteratively until a compact shape is found for which a calculated scattering curve matches the experimental data. Finally, SOCS lets us track structural changes. It is possible to explore how a protein changes shape depending on various conditions, which is extremely important for understanding biological function and for the development of any medical applications. SOCS thus is a powerful structural biology tool that complements other methods such as NMR, crystallography and electron microscopy. For more information, please visit the WeNMR website www.wenmr.eu or the Biosox website at www.embl-hamburg.de slash